Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafting with Amy. I'm Amy and today I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, Lori with the Crafty Connection makes all kinds of things using this method and I will put her link in my description box as well as the supplies. I've got them here but I'll put the supplies also. She's much better at it. She's been doing it a long time and she makes all kinds of things. So be sure to go um, check her out. This is going to be a pocket planner with some fake flowers. I end up using a cereal box instead of that. So you need a box of some sort, paper towels, um, school glue, water, heavy duty aluminum foil, but it it needs to not be non-stick and masking tape so I decided to go with this larger Cheerios box so you just cut it you can basically get two out of this you just cut along and it's taken me forever to cut um, but she makes these with you can um, if you use outdoor Mod Podge you can actually put real plants in them or like herbs or something and you just have to leave some drainage holes in the bottom but this one I'm going to use fake flowers and this I wanted to try it. I got the stuff to do it and I don't know if I'll do it again because me and the glue and paper towels just didn't get along. But I like it. But she makes like trees. Oh my goodness. Logs. But I will leave her channel link in the description box below and y'all need to go. She does all kinds of crafts. And I've done collaborations with her. We just did a mystery box challenge together. So for this you could get two of the larger ones. So you start out by rolling this into a cylinder. And taping it. And I'm using my teeth and you're not supposed to do that. So don't do that. She does recommend not using Dollar Tree masking tape and it needs to be cheap paper towels. It can have a pattern on it but not a quilted like but like just cheap cheap paper towels and I didn't know I thought all Reynolds wrap was non-stick but then I started noticing that some say non-stick so it needs to be the type that is not non-stick. That's a double negative there. So you just want to get those taped on the ends. <coughs> Excuse me. And now you take your Reynolds wrap and you cut it into strips. And I think my strips were a little bit too big to start off with but you get you just cover the entire thing with the uh, Reynolds wrap and that that plus the mask and tape is supposed to help prevent like mold anything getting in there
Apparently, some people make these with like tin cans. I don't know how they would get those smushed down. To I will leave her link because she does it in real time. And because of my upload issues, I have to speed things up. It took over a day to get a 14 minute video uploaded. I'll be so glad when we get fiber optics. I've already got another video started that I plan on finishing. It's a Easter DIY. But I have to wait for this to upload to free up my laptop to be able to film. So I think, I don't think I can leave the area where I'm uploading to, it says not to leave it or close the tab. So now the outside's covered. So I've got smaller strips that I'm going to go inside because that inside needs to be covered as well. And just smooth it down as good as you can. This was fun. Different. I'm glad I tried it, but I don't know that I'll be doing any more because me and the glue don't get along. So you just want to make sure every bit of it's covered with the Reynolds wrap. And then that's going to get covered with tape. And it's just any kind of school glue. I got mine from Dollar Tree. Like Elmer's glue, but it's Dollar Tree's brand. She did some really pretty envelopes. Um, I would like to try that. Now you take the tape and you want it quite a bit longer um, so you can go part of the way on the inside. <clears throat> and it's going to have some texture to it. I don't think I got the tape they're quite as taut as I, as I should have. <laughs> Hope y'all are doing okay. We had, oh, I can't remember what day it was. We were in tornado warnings. We had one of our, well, our only tree left in the yard snapped. It just snapped in two, but here in Kentucky, we had a whole lot of power outages, and I think some people are still without power. The worst winds, and then rain and rain and rain. That's what caused a lot of poles to go down was the, and trees, the saturation. And then it dropped really cold. The other night, it was like 20, because it was like pretty warm that day and it had been warm the day before like almost 
One day it was almost 80. They always say if you don't like the weather in Kentucky, just wait a minute and it'll change. It's kind of, it's, I think, 40 today. So you take the paper towels and then I've just got a stack here and you tear them. <clears throat> And she showed two different methods. I went with the second method. One was putting the paper towel down in the glue mixture and getting the excess off and then opening it up. And then she showed where you could just take your hand and apply the glue. And that's the method that I went with. So I'm taking this jot glue from Dollar Tree and then you need some water and you need something underneath you so you can pick this up I put it in front of them a, a fan to dry I had the whole thing taped to my table I'm like duh I can't move that if it's taped to the table oi And I didn't know how much I was going to need, but you can put a lid on it and save it if you're going to do more. Just plain water. I don't know how much I ended up putting in here. I put more than I show because I ended up adding a little bit more. It's supposed to be, after you mix it, the consistency of like a, a frosting or icing that's been microwaved. I think. I think I had a little bit more water, but I didn't show that. Okay, now the fun part. So I go with the putting it on my hands. And you want to go a little bit into the inside there. The inside will have to be covered too. I don't know if I used too much glue, if I didn't use enough glue. And then the paint that I used was chalk paint. And I think that may have been my problem. Because chalk paint is thicker. So I would recommend using... Um, I didn't think about that as far as resaturating the paper towels because that's a problem that I had and I asked her about it and she said she used that that could have been the problem she uses acrylic paint so now I'm going to go ahead and go on the inside before I get all this on the outside and you want to just overlap them Get them smoothed down as best you can. And yes, I'm sorry I have to speed it up or they won't upload. Right now she's building like a, I can't remember what it is. Um, she's done crosses she's done like fairy stuff um,
Okay, so now it has dried and like I said, I think this is where my problem is because I used the chalk paint and it's it's much thicker. So my it resaturated my paper towels. So had I had this to do again, and I do believe the second coat or where I go back over and um, I use just regular acrylic paint. Now I'm going to take, because my printable has some of this moss green, I think that's moss green, and I'm going to dry brush it with that, and I even use some purple to dry brush. I'll list the uh, colors. In the description box. Because this is going to have lavender and forensity. I can't pronounce that flower. It's that yellow flower up there. It's what I put in it. And I'm pretty heavy handed because that texture. See, I've put a hint of purple too. And now you take Mod Podge and since this is going on the inside, um, it's not going outside, I just take regular matte Mod Podge to apply this printable. And then I wasn't, I printed off two, I wasn't happy with the way the one, I cut it crooked. So I end up using my cutter to cut the other one and I put it on the back because I wasn't happy with it. I did this one with scissors and it didn't turn out so well. I had a time with the Mod Podge because of the the uh, texture, I couldn't get it. To adhere real well. And then I'm going to go on the outside. I did better on the other side. So that's the one on the other side. And then I got this trim from Walmart. And I'm just going to hot glue it, framing the sign. And I've already, you start like in the middle and kind of smush it down towards the end. Because we'll glue the end. And again, if you're going to be using like real herbs or real flowers, you want to leave some drainage holes down there. But I'm not doing that, so I'm going to use some wood glue, super glue from Dollar Tree. And I apologize for my voice. I, these sinuses and allergies, everything's blooming around here. And then I'll use um, hot glue for a permanent or quick hold, and this for a permanent hold. And then I borrowed some of my husband's heavier duty clamp thingies because you want to squish that down. You start in the middle, but I did that before I put the um, trim around it. And I'm going to clean up the excess glue. <clears throat> I need more hands. I need a cleaner craft table, Lord. My craft room is a danger zone. And then I use two of those big clamps on the ends. And then some of the small clamps from, from Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree doesn't have the bigger pink. They just have small. So 
So I just put those in between. And then I'll let that dry. And I put a little bit of, I don't know if I filmed this because like I said, I, I have a major upload issues. <clears throat> I put a little bit of floral foam down in there. And I cut my picks and I will list in the description box. I know one's lavender. And the other yellow is for rinse. I'll just have to type it out because I can't pronounce it. I took those flowers, the pansies or whatever those are, I took those out. And I have put a hanger on the back, but I can't get it to hang even, so I messed up there. But that is the finished product. Again, I will leave her link in the description box below for you all to go and check out. She does some really amazing builds. All types of DIYs using Dollar Tree stuff. Thank you and you all have a good day and a good rest of your week and be looking for the next video.